Hello everybody, it's Jason Schoen, aka Electronics Freak. Thought I'd go over a tutorial today on how to tweak Second Life and make it run faster. Uh, there are many viewers out there. The only two I'm going to really go over today are the Default Viewer and Firestorm. Uh, like I said, there are many other viewers. They all about work the same, so you can kind of get an idea from these two viewers. I'll start out with the Default Viewer, the one Second Life gives you their own viewer. The only two things we're going to be messing with... <coughs> I'm sorry, are the bandwidth and the cache. Once this opened up, uh, we're going to go to me, then preferences, and then start its setup. Now, typically, when you get these, the bandwidth set somewhere down low here. <clears throat> what you want to do is crank it up to the maximum, the highest it'll go. All this is telling it is how much of your bandwidth you want to let Second Life use. The higher the number, the more of your bandwidth it would use. Now, if you think it's using too much, you can pull it down to save you trouble. But the higher, the better it is, the faster it can download things. Once that's set up, and you got to say how you want, I recommend all the way up. But if you want to set it lower, that's up to you. <clears throat> and sorry if I keep clearing my throat. i got a bit of a cold, so it'll be that annoying. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, once you down, move down to cache, now, cache, I recommend send it to the max you can set it, which in most viewers is 9984. <coughs> and some are a little bit less than that. It just depends on each one. But the cache is basically where it stores all your files, the game that's downloaded, your clothing, any audio, your note cards, anything like that. Anything in your inventory is what's stored in the cache on your drive. The higher the number is, the more stored in your computer, the less game has to download each time you log on which is a good reason to have this up. Now, some viewers, when you're adjusting the bandwidth for the cache, might warn you not to do this, like Firestorm, you'll see in a bit when we go to do it, ignore it anyway. But either way, the higher the number of this, the better. Because the more you have in your computer, the less it has to download, and therefore, everything will load faster. Okay, and like I said, once that's done, you can click OK and then log in. But I'm going to close it and go and open up Firestorm now. <coughs> Ryan actually. Okay, I was wondering if I had it installed. I don't remember if I had it installed or not. I don't particularly use this viewer that much because I'm not overly fond of it. I mainly just keep it on here for helping people or for making tutorials. Which is probably a bit out of date, but for this tutorial to work just fine. <clears throat> yes, yeah. Yeah, I recently changed video cards. Anyway, once you got Firestorm open, click Viewer, then Preferences. Alright. Here, it's in a different tab. It's called Network and Cache is where it's at. Now, this one, I'm going to go and drag it back down to default. Yeah, this is what I meant when you go to drag it up the warning it gives you. Uh, I pretty much don't agree with this, and personally, I don't think it should have been there. I've used it many times instead of many other computers, and there's never been a problem. And whoever wrote this, I don't know why they did it. Either way, I completely recommend ignoring it and dragging your number all the way up and the same thing with the cache dragging them all the way up and then click apply and ok and like I said if you're not uncomfortable with this stuff you can leave it how it is or just drag it to your own settings but this is what I seriously recommend to get the most out of Second Life once you get done with that click ok and then you can log in like I said it's out of date don't worry about that just mainly for showing you how that works but you click apply ok and log in and Happy second lifing. Uh, have a good day.